All right, so I wanna test out Dave the Diver on Apple's M1 Max. The chip is a couple years old at this point, although it's relatively powerful for what it is, it's generally not very optimized for gaming. So even though this does seem like, hey, this is a super easy game to run, I'm just curious to see how it runs. And you can see up in the top right, here is our screen resolution, our FPS. And this is interesting. This game is actually running on metal, which is why we can see this. If the game isn't running on metal, we actually can't see this. Uh, it's something I enabled in the console. And let's just check out what our settings are just for fun. You can see, okay, we are running at the full, we're running above the full resolution, which doesn't even make sense. All right, we're playing at the screen's native resolution, which is 3456 by 2160. There are no other graphics settings that I can see. So, cool. All right, and let's just do a dive. We jump on in. And there is something a little bit funny to me in playing a game that's like kind of pixel art style like this at 4K. Um, it looks sharp, but it looks, you know, pixelated sharp. So, and you can see we're getting not quite a locked 60 FPS, which is a little bit weird. This makes me think something is happening because we're barely using our GPU at all. We're barely using our memory and yet we're only getting 58 FPS. So something is locking that to what I would say 60. Maybe this game can't be played at 120, I don't know. Um, yeah, but it feels good, it feels very stable. It looks fantastic. Let's get a fish, boom, no problem. Tagging and bagging some rainbow rassle. <laughs> get one of these guys. Yeah, it feels great. There's, yeah, it feels totally great. I mean, as it should, it's an indie game. We're playing it on a, although probably not optimized, we're playing it on a very powerful or relatively powerful GPU compared to a lot of other stuff. Um, so it does not surprise me uh, that it's running well. It does surprise me that it's only running at 60 FPS, but I think there's gotta be some lock in there, but the settings are just so simple that they don't allow you to play at 120 FPS or, or change anything. So. If you wanna play Dave the Diver on your uh, MacBook, probably any MacBook is gonna work great, but definitely anything, an M1 Max or above, you're gonna have a good time. It's barely taxing the system. Oh, and just for fun, let's look, what are our temperatures? So now we've been playing for a little bit. What are the temperatures of that we're getting here? And you can see fans are at idle and the temperature is 52 degrees. And that's on the hottest part of the chipset, which is probably the CPU or the GPU. So low 50s, fans are at idle. I can't hear the fans when they're at, when they're at idle. They're so quiet. Um, so this is gonna be basically dead silent while you play it. Uh, so yeah, I'm saying it. There we go, now we can have this up. You can see the temperature we're playing, 51 degrees. Fans are idling looks nice and look this is that new icon this is the game mode so again that's trying to reduce latency to bluetooth devices i think it also turns off some background tasks so that the cpu and gpu are fully dedicated to the game and uh yeah if you want to play Day of the Diver, again, it's a simple indie game, but it's good to know if it's compatible or how well it actually works. And I'm going to say this runs great. This is an A plus as far as how well it runs. And uh, yeah, feel free to play it. All right, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.